Hello, my name is Nikolai, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use pizzicato on the viola. There's a couple of reasons why pizzicato is useful on the viola. The first is that uh, you can use it to practice quietly, and the second is that you're going to be seeing it in a lot of the repertoire and pieces that you play as you continue to develop on your instrument. So there's two different ways that we can do pizzicato on the viola. The first is doing it in a standard position like when you play with uh, your bow in hand and the second is having the instrument on your lap. So if we take our instrument, I'll take my viola here, and you put it up like how you would. If you're going to play with your bow, you just leave your bow in the case, use your bare hand, and take your thumb and place it on the fingerboard like so. You're going to place it right there. And instead of playing in between the fingerboard and the bridge, in this area where your bow usually is, you're going to be playing up more on the fingerboard. So around this area right here is where your, your fingers will be. So now I want to talk to you about where you're going to play on your finger on the string. You're never going to use your fingernail. Your fingernail should be cut anyway if you're going to be playing viola. Regardless, don't use your fingernail. Use the pad, the meat of your finger and place it on the string and just give it a nice natural pluck. So we'll practice on an open string. You don't want to kill the string because it can hurt your instrument. It can also bring your instrument out of tune if you pull on the string too hard. So just give it a nice natural pluck and depending on whether you're playing piano or forte, you'll pluck it harder or softer. So, well actually softer or harder, but that's besides the point. The second way, I'll move the camera here is to hold it almost like a guitar on your lap and instead of having uh, your thumb underneath right here you're going to be hold you're going to use your thumb to actually pluck and you're going to place your index and middle finger on in the same spot where your thumb used to be so now you're going to use your thumb to pluck so if we just practice plucking an open string and you're going to use your left hand to go up and down Okay, good. So what I want to go over, if we go back to the more like standard position that you'll be using more often, is that your left hand doesn't change at all. It's going to stay in the same place that it would always be if you were playing with your bow. The only thing that changes when you play pizzicato is that you're using your right hand by itself. So your left hand, if we go up and down, Nothing changed with my left hand, it was just my right hand that I was using differently. So that is how you play pizzicato on the viola. So happy practicing and thank you for watching.